as we can see, the boy, the main man himself, Dr. Nowhere, has dropped his new video, their new video called The Boiled One Phenomenon. It's a 10 minute long video, a lot better than the last few videos that I've dropped because of, you know, the last few videos were like 2-3 minutes and they were super confusing. I mean, we could get a 10-minute video. That's super confusing, you know? But we're at the fine now. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get straight into this. The boiled one phenomenon. Let's go. Oh, oh, okay. That's a lot of flashing. Hold up. All following media has been curated for permission from personnel at EFRA 288. Great care has been taken to keep the identities and persons involved anonymous as they requested. The video contains elements which are known to cause mild to severe cognitive Nito hazardous conditions. Jesus, they're testing my vocabulary today. Including properties that may mentally and physically affect the viewer. Please refer to the following procedures in order to guarantee your safest possible viewing experience. I don't know how to take that. But I'm kind of scared in a way. J just, just a smidgen. Make sure you have the following in the vicinity. Earplugs, a pencil, sheet of paper, and a standard Christian Bible open to Pazams 9110. Elite Freddy Fazbear, welcome to the stream, dude. I just watched the new Psychotics VHS. I've heard a lot of people mention that. I have to probably watch it. There's no subtitles on this, so... I'm intrigued. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues, tangible to the naked ears, insert your earplugs and turn your pencil and paper. Okay. Write the following on the page. Bro, they... they we all know this. I've said this a million times. You're not gonna hide text from me. I can't see this paper, I have no hand, I can hear the laughter of thousands, I can hear the feast, I cannot move, nor do I want to. I- yeah, so basically it's the reverse of what this text actually says. I can see this paper, I can see my hand, I can't hear the screaming of thousands, I can't hear the feast, I'm moving, breathing human being on planet Earth. Interesting. After these words are written, recite Pazam's 19, 1, 10 aloud. If memories and imagery of something unholy persist in your mind, pray. It's all you can do. In the event you are required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities. Immediately afterwards, you will be administrated as am amnesthetics. Many to appear a normal life afterwards. Okay, this is definitely a... Yeah, that's okay. It's holding on that. The boiled one phenomenon. This is taking a real big twist of the normal Doctor Nowhere style vids. It's taken a real big twist. In the late 1990s, the now classified documentary based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland plants and animals that were primar primarily directed towards children. To start of the show, the narrator would talk about the wonders of nature and the dangers of it. How to, how to appreciate it, most importantly, how to protect yourself. Unfortunately, nerds in 2001, the program would be taken off due to, the air, due to the host passing away. Then something odd happened. On August 13, 2003, the 13th episode of the series began a rerun seemingly out of nowhere. Dr. Nowhere. Uh, following audio recording... Okay. Video footage hanging with episodes morning, 3, 6, Bushback. 8, 10, and 13 of the program. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest. Dr. Nowhere, possibly. That might be the link to that. As it is deceptive. Poison oak. We all know about it. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common, but still something to look out for. Hmm. And here on... We aim to uncover was that all like the, the um, secrets that nature has a bleeped to offer, out title of the show. No matter how minuscule or gigantic. So let's get going, shall we? Now this dude has improved a lot. To be fair. Found primarily in deep North American woodlands. Poison Oak has many different names and places of origin. Also it's a real big eggs, jump though from what heaven. was the other Imagine videos, that? you know? In China and Taiwan. One of these invasive species made its way to America in the Invasive species, he says. took its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. Infamous. During one of the interview segments, an anomalous broadcast would hijack the program. The broadcast uh, depicted videos of a red, melted face that spoke to the viewer in a warm yet deeply concerning, disconnecting voice. Uh, probably would be referred to known as Fan223. Eight. As Fen228 spoke clips of the footage, even live free camera feed monitoring hospitals and bedrooms and occasionally overlaid on the screen. Though most remembered Fen2228 uh, speaking English, multiple non-English speaking viewers remember understanding every word he was speaking. 
has been shortened and the other one has been muffled, reversed and dampened. These altercations are absolutely necessary to express as hazardous attributes as effectively as possible. Watch with blue light glasses. I have no idea what this thing is saying. But it's really creepy. I'm so confused at what I'm actually looking at. Is the stick fi uh, figure gonna come back? Oh, that's creepy. He said watch with blue light glasses, right? So I have 3D glasses. Does that count? Broadcast 8. Can I take my 3D glasses off now, do you think? I guess so. Don't ask why I have 3D glasses just sitting at my monitor, by the way. I don't know either. Aside from the discomfort of paranoia, Fantasy 8's television presence has brought to the viewers there are other side effects that the viewer experience are highly unnatural. Many viewers reported not being able to keep the image of Fen 228's face out of their minds, even continuing to hear its voice in the days after viewing. A uh, victim who uh, requested the, uh, to remain anonymous claimed... Okay, I'm, I messed up reading, so I'm going to pause that. Uh, claimed the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. Another described trumpets playing in their ears before they fell asleep. Um, this is scarier than psychotics. Ooh, interesting. Uh, by the way, Dr. Nowhere has an alt account where he posts really creepy videos. Okay, that's interesting to know. I forgot to wear green. I have my uh, St. Patrick's Day hat. I'll wear it later on in the stream. Okay. Let's see what happens. August 8th, for, not August 14th, 2003. The Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. After the anomalous frequency was detected by television, oh, okay, it's ordered that the mobile power grid is located in the state of Pennsylvania, the same by 4 p.m. So it's basically like a hacked state, um, TV broadcast. I guess local 58 vibes or something like that, I guess, maybe. That's kind of what I'm getting at. You have a green pencil in your hand. Well, that's a no for St. Patrick's Day. I'm not wearing any green either, and I'm Irish, so. <laughs> So far, this has been really interesting, though. It seems like it's leaning more towards an infected broadcast type thing. Which is interesting, because um, when it comes to infected broadcasts and stuff like that, um, like, we've seen a lot of them, but this is, like, depicting, like, just one creature, like, hacking and, like, morphing into people's minds, you know? A historically massive influx of, uh, oh, I'm not going to attempt that word, occurred throughout the state of Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected. Rare condition experiences, again, I'm not going to try that word, disconnection. These are too, too big a words for my vocabulary. I might get, like, high marks in English, but I, I'm not that good. I don't just read the dictionary, so I'm not going to know those words. There was a flash there of something. I don't know what it was, though. I'm curious if that stick figure dude is going to come back, though. Oh, wait, never mind. That's why it was, because the dude is just floating. Look, there he is. How you doing? He was just floating out of the TV there. But something flashed here. There was the dude's face. Flashed there. That was nothing, I guess. Okay. Yo, party dude, thank you so much for the sub, man. I appreciate that. Oh, I just realized my thing stopped recording. Unveiling results that often led to stuff. However, fairly late to the investigation, uh, Job Zapparini, an elderly victim of the anomalous pseudocoma outbreak, is uh, I used to be used in future records. Uh, it was a war vet, flew into Morse code, putting him on a market, potentially interview me as soon as the outbreak was put under investigation. This is definitely a massive jump from the last video in, like, um, it's a massive jump in lore and, uh, sort of, it's almost like it's ignoring the last creature and just going, okay, we're gonna focus on this one. So I'm kind of scared as if it's gonna take the sort of jump where it's gonna have multiple of these entities which I hope it doesn't, because there's so many series that have that sort of, oh, there's this one entity that lives in the TV, one entity that does this, one entity comes through the TV, you know? I hope it's just more or less 
Oh wait, the music's morphing. I hope it's just one entity or a maximum two, I hope. Because so far this is really a huge improvement on the last videos. It seems to be like a Hello oh. Mr. Oh I'm Officer Gomez. Oh this is different. Hope you're doing well today. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions regarding your condition? And possibly oh, he has the outbreak um, thing. Unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned. Translation sequence. Okay, first and uh, foremost, did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body? Oh, he lost mobility? Oh, that's sad. Face, huh? Hmm. That's really sad. When did you begin seeing this face? It's obviously the f red face, right? Interesting. Many it never left him after the TV. Seen the broadcast that you saw on August the 13th described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? I'm so confused, but really intrigued. Can you please describe this face to me? It's the red one, right? Hmm. I, horribly uh, burnt. I still don't see it. Weird. Have you been having any hallucinations? Oh my face? god, chat. Look. Look right here. Look at there. There's the spike. The spike is there. I don't know if you can see it on, on uh, video or not. I can see it right here. I can't zoom in or nothing, can I? Hold on. Can I zoom in? I can probably do it. Yeah, hold on. Watch this. Um, Right here. Can I zoom in now? Look right here, chat. Right there. You can see the spike off the dude's head. No way. No way have I caught I'm that. Sorry to hear I can't that. believe my eyesight actually found that. Are these screams constant? I can't believe I found him. I was always good Thank at Where's you. Wally, to be fair. You shedding light on this is helping more than you know. Okay. Yeah, look, he comes up any... Oh, that's annoying that he comes up anyway. You shedding light on this is helping more There's a flash down. I can see you. Interesting. Yeah. He comes up anyway. Aw. I thought he was just going to stay there the whole time. And it was like, oh, if you saw him, you saw him. But I saw him early, I guess. Hey, dude. How you doing? He looks like a sock puppet. Oh, he's in the window. Wonderful day. The miracle of birth. A f fetal fanfare. Or feet. Yeah, I'm listening. Oh, that's the heart from the last video. What is that in the sky? You'll hear the trumpets play their happy sound. Trumpets playing the happy sound. Together, we will be still. This is so weird, dude. Ew. Still. Is that if you see the screen means it's not to continue viewing. Oh that's clever. Initiated. Okay. Oh it's that was cool. I'm just gonna say that straight up. That was much better than the rest of Doctor Nowhere. Like, much, much better. By a million miles, that was so much better than the rest of Doctor Nowhere. And specifically, it is because it decided to move on from the sort of boys vert type. Because I, I made those comparison in the last few videos, basically saying that the clips we saw very much resembled like boys vert with the whole random creature a pop up on the screen at some point say a few random words or something would happen with that creature and then the video is gonna end that's what i get like along with um boys vert plus it's also really like just confusing i feel like that gave us a little bit more like not answers but definitely something more story based like actually giving a story to what's going on 
It also introduced a new character of whatever that thing was. And also brought in the fact that that character can affect someone's mental state. So that's really cool. Um, definitely, I kind of hope he just focuses on that character over, like, I kind of hope he just focuses on that character. And then that stick figure we saw in the earlier episode, just like a f entity form of that other character. I'd hope that. But ultimately, that's a huge improvement on Doctor Nowhere. A huge, huge, like, congrats. Because I know that's going to blow up. And that's going to go crazy. So that was so much better than the rest of the series. And if that's what's to come, I have a no doubt in saying that this that will be one of the biggest uh, analog horrors if you want to consider an analog horror out there and it was awesome i really really enjoyed that i have to say definitely go check out dr nowhere drop them a subscribe because they deserve it that was such a huge improvement on their last few videos definitely go check them out and yeah i'll leave the link in the description go check them out that was awesome first shot of this episode tammy picks this house Now, if you ask me, that is the, you know, worst house you can pick. It has wallpaper on the outside.